let's consider that you got a news article which talks about wishing fraud increasing in the city now you are the fraud investigator so your job will be to look for the key information and then investigate it further so what you notice over here is there are many mobile numbers which have been given over here so first job is to list down all these mobile numbers right so these are just four mobile numbers so it is pretty easy to write them down manually but what if you keep on getting this kind of thing again and again let's say five times in a day or maybe on daily basis or let's say you are get, you are getting an article which has 50 mobile numbers so it's gonna be pathetic for you to write down all the mobile numbers right so what is the way around don't worry python provides you a facility so here what i do is here i have one function which i have used right and if I just hit enter here it gives me all the mobile numbers so this is the news article and I just use this function and I got all the news uh, all the mobile numbers so no matter how many specific mobile numbers are given how many mobile numbers are given in the article it's a thousand or two thousand or maybe one million all the all of them will come just on a click okay so this is how we use the regular expression this is this is called regular expression let me explain you in little detail so here is the function which we use and in this if you see this particular word which is called re this is coming from right here this is nothing but a module right just like pandas or numpy which we keep on using so here re stands for regular expression okay and as per wikipedia a regular expression is a sequence of characters that specifies a search pattern in text right so point to be noted is it's a sequence of characters right so just look at this one it is the expression or this is exactly what Wikipedia was talking about this is called the pattern right and if you look at this this is nothing but a function which comes under regular expression module not only find all there are many other functions also so which will keep which we will be discussing in video as we progress okay now over here you see these are the characters which we have used to make a pattern now the question comes in how to know what are the characters should be used to make a specific pattern right and what all are the characters that are available over here how do we know that so here is the answer python provides you a whole bunch of these characters now this looks quite confusing how are we gonna understand each of them so we can segment them all in three main clusters right so first one we call it meta characters so which is this set right i would say just stop the video i mean pause the video and just go through this definition and try to understand that then another segment which is called sets then the last one which is called special sequence right so these are the three segment we can make out of out of those whole bunch of characters now let's have a look at our function once again here you see the characters which we have used so these two things which have been used in combination so if you try to find this particular thing in any one of these tables so you just find it over here right and its definition says that it returns the digit wherever it matches the digit in the given string and digit ranging between 0 to 9 right it will give you all those digits now after that you see these curly brackets right so this is mentioned over here its answer is this is something which we use to get exactly specific number of occurrences so this particular thing we are using to find the digit and then python ask you how many digits that you want right so we can say that we want 10 digits right so that's because we know mobile number in india are generally of 10 digit right so that's why we are giving 10 digit over here so this is how it will return you the mobile numbers out of this particular article so this is how we use this in python now another question comes in to segment 
or not segment rather fetch out all these currency values out of this particular article so if you see these all are the things but if you see how to fetch that th these are also digits these are also digits mobile number and currency both are digits how to make a difference and how to know what how to create a particular pattern to fetch this particular thing or anything is there a way are we going to memorize all this thing again and again no that's pathetic right it's not quite feasible right so is there a way to handle this kind of situation yes there is one website which is called regex101.com i want you to take a note of this and this is very interesting and useful thing so you just come to this website from here choose python right and once you are done with this like we just saw how we found the mobile number if let's say you don't know the answer how to find the mobile number you can use this particular portal so to find the mobile number what we need to look for is digits right so to look for digits what we can do is we can use this glossary over here from here we can look for a character which can help us to find the digits so you see any digit we can use slash t so just come over here and put slash t now it is highlighting all the digits in the given news article here is the news article i have pasted now the next thing comes in specifying the number of occurrences so if you just look at this particular thing exactly three of a so here for example it is taking a and it is trying to find three occurrences of a so what we can do is we can use curly bracket and inside that we can specify the number of occurrences right so in our case we want to find digits and after that we can use curly bracket and you can put the number of occurrences and then close the curly bracket and here we got the set of mobile numbers so match information we can find right over here so this is how you see we can simply make a pattern now once you are done with making a pattern what you need to go do is go back to the python and let's consider that we are yet to find this so just create a variable which is called pattern let's say we, let's come over here and create that i'm going to create a pattern variable and in that in the quotation i will just put this pattern now this is done pattern is created after this what we're going to do is we're going to just use the function find all out of this regular expression module and its syntax says first specify the pattern and then give the string in which you want to look for that particular pattern right so what is the pattern that we want to look for is this right here we have created this uh, this pattern with the name of pattern itself right and now we want to look for this particular pattern in the article right and just hit enter we got this particular thing right so this is how we do it now the problem statement is to look for the currency and not for the mobile number so to look for currency again we have digits we we require to look for the digits right but mobile numbers are also digit and currency is also digit so how to differentiate that so the differentiator is dollar sign over here now we can start looking for dollar sign but the problem is dollar sign itself is a special character which has a different meaning right so if you just look at this point end of a string so dollar sign is used to look for a particular string which ends with a specific character for example if you want to look for a string which ends with n right so here small n or maybe let's say capital n so there is no match for that let's say we want to look for something which ends with d right so there is one match we just found over here right so this is how we use the dollar sign but here we want to use dollar as a normal character so how can we do that so to to remove or to nullify or nullify is special status what we can use is we can put a backward slash just before this so now it becomes a normal character and like you can see it is highlighted in this particular article once this is done the next job is to look for the digits after this right what are the digits that we want uh, i mean the digits that we want to fetch so to find the digit we just learned that we can use slash d so it is giving you the it is selecting the digits also but it is the problem is it is selecting one digit only now there is another function which is asterisk not function the special character is asterisk so asterisk can be used to find or fetch all the occurrences of 
uh, of given pattern so the given pattern is digit right and if you want to find all the occurrences in the same sequence till the time you get a blank space or end of the line it will fetch all those occurrences so how can we do that so we simply after slash d you just put asterisk over here now if you see here we got the special character which is comma the another character which is comma and before that whatever digits we have it is fetching all the occurrences of that now the next problem statement is fetching the comma so we can put comma also so comma is selected now again we need to fetch digit after that again we put slash d right but again it is selecting just one digit so what is the way so the way is again use the asterisk so again it selected next three digits but again it has comma and next three digits digits so it will keep on repeating what is the solution so the solution is to group all these things right so this is this is the particular pattern which we want to keep on looking again and again right for all the possible occurrences so how can we group this so to group this to group more than one special characters or pattern what we use is we use this bracket okay in the bracket we just group this now this is grouped so in this group it will look for comma and the digit and all the possible occurrences of that digit now this is one set now we want to keep on repeating this pattern till the time it finds a blank space or end of line so for that we can use the asterisk now you see here it says there are four matches we have found now if you just go back over here and if you see in the match information here is the numbers which we are looking for this this and all these things right but the, there is one problem you see you keep on getting these groups right so what is the solution for that particular thing let's look for that over here we will go in all tokens and in all tokens if you just look at this one match everything and close right so just have a look over here here it says a non capturing group allows you to apply uh, quantifiers to part of your rig x but does not capture or assign an id right so we will use this particular thing inside it just right over here and then what you see is it will simply give you a perfect thing now let's go back to this match information and here you see those groups are gone now our pattern is created to fetch the currency now here you see whatever we fetch in that dollar sign would also be available just in case if you don't want to look for a dollar sign if you don't want to include dollar sign then there is another option which is called positive look behind this particular thing right positive look behind so this particular thing what it does is whatever character you just specify over here it will look for all the it will look for the part which comes after the character which you specify over here let me give you an example for example i am taking this particular thing and if i come over here and i put this before the dollar sign so first we need to group this you remember we need to group set of special characters or patterns which we want to use together right so we want to use all these things together so that's why we have to group it so now what will happen it will find dollar sign and it will just create a identifier after which whatever is available you can fetch so this is the identifier dollar sign and after that we want to fetch the available digit so this is how it works now if you go back over here and if you see dollar sign is gone so it's up to you if you don't want to use it don't use it if you want to use it just use it i just hope that it is clear now all that you need to do is copy this particular pattern which you have just created and come over here in this one create another pattern let's say i am going to say pattern 2 and in that i am going to specify that pattern and now the job is to look for this particular pattern in the news article so how can we do that we can simply say re dot find all and in that we can say pattern 2 and where we want to look for this pattern is in the article and just hit enter here we got that okay now if you don't want if you want to keep this uh, dollar sign in your output you can just remove that Oops, sorry please bear with me here you can just remove this particular part 
and just hit enter here you have the dollar sign now this is one way uh, th this is the way you can fetch the currency amount right now what if you want to fetch mobile number also along with this so what we're going to do is here we already have a pattern created we can combine this with this right and if you hit enter what happens it gives you nothing right because this doesn't make a complete pattern so what we want to search for is mobile number and currency both separately so what we can do is we can use or condition so or condition can be created using pipe character right this is the pipe character so here we are simply saying look for mobile number or the currency value in the news article now if you hit enter in the output you're gonna get both of these two things now it's up to you whatever you want you can whatever the way you want you can use right so i just hope that it was clear to you in upcoming videos the way we saw over here find all in upcoming videos we will see what all are other options we functions which are available in regular expression module re module until then happy learning wish you very all the